This video will demonstrate the SN1 reaction using our MOLLEMOD models. SN1 stands for Substitution by Nucleophilic Attack, Unimolecular Rate Dependence. The energies of the carbocation that is to be formed in the reaction is a factor for the rate of the reaction. The reactivity order are tertiary is greater than secondary, is greater than primary, is greater than methyl for alkyl compounds. The leaving group controls the rate determining step. Hence, the unimolecular rate dependence referenced in the name SN1. A good example of an SN1 reaction is that of a tertiary alcohol. These involve a tertiary carbocation which is the more stable carbocation. Note here that open small bonds on an oxygen are representative of lone pairs. Under acidic conditions, the hydroxyl group adds a proton from solution that is attracted to a lone pair on the oxygen. The cation then undergoes electron shift to make water a leaving group, which leaves behind the carbocation with the tertiary carbon center. The halogen ion from the acid solution is then free to attack the tertiary carbocation to produce the final haloalkane. A second example of the SN1 reaction is that of an alkyl halide, the exact opposite reaction of the one we just discussed. Tertiary alkyl halide's starting material contains a polar bond which makes for a good leaving group. In aqueous solution, the carbocation reacts with water to form a protonated carbocation. The halogen ion, now in solution, attacks the more accessible and favored proton, leaving a neutral alcohol as the product. Realistically, in industry, this halide to alcohol reaction is not common, as the original reaction, alcohol to alkyl halide, is used for production of alkyl halides. <laughs>